Meet Emily. Emily is in the process of buying a house in the suburbs. Emily has just watched our two videos, Mortgages 101 and How to Find a House in a Mortgage, so she knows exactly how to get a great home with great financing. However, she still has no idea how to get homeowner's insurance. What should she do? Well, her first step is simple. Before she can buy homeowner's insurance, she'll need to understand it. So let's start there. Like most types of insurance, homeowner's insurance reduces the costs associated with a risk, in this case the risk of your house being damaged or someone being injured on your property, in return for a monthly fee called a premium, which is based on everything from your home's age to its location. As for how homeowner's insurance actually works, it operates through six coverages bundled together, none of which are required by law, though all of them will be required by your mortgage lender. The first coverage is dwelling coverage, and it protects the structure of the home from theft and pretty much every disaster you can think of, except floods and earthquakes, whose plans need to be purchased separately. So how does dwelling coverage work? Well, in general, it works through a deductible and a limit. A deductible is simply the amount of money Emily must pay per incident before her insurer pays the rest, while a limit is the maximum amount an insurer will pay. For example, let's say Emily's insurance plan has a $5,000 deductible and her house recently suffered a fire that cost $100,000 in damage. Under the terms of her policy, Emily only has to pay the first $5,000 of this bill. Her insurer will cover the rest, up to a limit, say $500,000. So that's how dwelling coverage works. The next three coverages also work through a limit, typically as a percentage of the dwelling coverage. Let's go through each one. One, other structures on your property coverage, which covers things like outhouses and detached garages. Two, personal property coverage, which covers the cost of replacing the contents of your home. And three, loss of use coverage, which covers any expenses you incur while your home is uninhabitable, such as staying in a hotel. Finally, the last two coverages operate a little differently. Their limits are standalone, independent from dwelling coverage. Again, let's go through each one. 1. Personal liability coverage, which protects you against lawsuits filed by those injured on your property. And 2. Medical payments coverage, which covers the medical expenses of those injured on your property who don't sue you. Hopefully you and Emily now have a better understanding of how homeowner's insurance works. Be sure to check out our next video to learn how to actually get homeowner's insurance, and be sure to check out our website, where you can find more educational material and great homeowner's insurance recommendations.